to this area with 51. Everything in the fire fly. When you go rapping like that. Yes, yes, yes. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead. Click and blend. Follow me on Instagram. Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. I am happy to see this, to hear this from none other than Charlie Clips. Chess, why? Why would you go on live? Talking crazy like that, little bro. You just said in your blog, I'm the one person you don't want to piss off. So why would you go ahead and do it? Just because Smack want to see me and you go at it? You listen to him? Do you not know Smack set people up to die every event? And he just did it again, man. Come on, Chess. When you was on your 18-game losing streak, throwing up shrimp-flavored ramen noodles all over the fucking stage, I still thought you was good, little homie. But this is, this, October 29th, bro. Yo, I don't ever make promises because I feel like promises is meant to be broken. And so is your fucking jaw when these schemes hit you, nigga. October 29th, man, I promise you, Chess, you shouldn't have did that, little bro. You shouldn't have did that. October 29th, man. I see Charlie Clips is mad. I am happy to see that he is mad because when Charlie Clips versus Chess started to circulate when people started to talk about it i said to myself chess is moving like this charlie clips is moving like this chess is going to wild out and i didn't have i didn't see it happening as far as like winning for charlie clips i'm like chess is on a fucking rampage right now and i don't see a way that charlie clips is going to be able to beat this guy but with the video that charlie clips just put out he is angry he says that Chess peed him off. I seen um, Chess's interview on Hip Hop is Real, Salute to Hip Hop is Real and everything that they do. Uh, Chess said that he would whoop Charlie Clips. Yeah. Charlie Clips though, come on. Charlie Clips, I would whip his ass. Okay. But see, right, you know listen. what it is with Clips, Clips. Though? I might make Clips mad. Mm -hmm. I might be the nigga that could bring the great <laughs> Clips out. I got you. Um, this could now be a war. This is now going to be more than it probably would have been because what Chess was explaining in his interview made a lot of sense. He said that a lot of the older guys are not really holding things down anymore. Some of them are actually in the way. You see these people that are getting paid these super big bags and then the performances be, don't really be like that. Then it leaves everybody wondering. Easy to block Captain vs. Chess, the best battle on Summer Madness. I'm pretty sure they did not get paid the most to be there, but their battle was the best. How do you fix the equilibrium in battle rap when you have folks that are not putting on phenomenal performances and getting what they're getting? So now you see, I said this before, the other people who are below start to look up. They look up, they're like, yo, my battle versus this person had this many reactions, this many people are going crazy over my battle. There's only one battle on Summer Madness that was the best battle there. There's not even a question. Easy to Black Captain versus Chess was levels and levels and levels above everything else that was on the card. I said that it would be that way when the battle was first announced because both of them are hungry. Chess respects Easy. Easy wants the chess battle and they are going to war. This is the best battle that's happened all year. It's probably the best battle that's happened in a couple years. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Charlie Clips is now hot like he sees what people are saying about him i spoke to charlie clips not too long ago before his battle that he had this weekend on mc war versus um p and i told him you know do your thing yada 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 and he's showing that he's ready to do this thing full time again i think just my prediction we'll get a charlie clips that's closer to the version that we've seen versus new jersey twerk 
in his first round where Twerk went super crazy. And then Charlie Clip said, every kiss begins with K. Pow! No, it don't! Like, I think we'll get a version closer to that. Uh, Charlie Clip said, like, he said some things in this video. And I, I'm going to just put it like this. I have not seen Charlie Clip's promote really any battles that he's had in the last couple years and I definitely haven't seen him in that bag that he's in right now where he's actually like yo you you got me hot like I haven't seen him like this and that actually excites me because I'm like I I, I, I used to regard Charlie Clips around the time when he battled Loaded Lux I thought he was the best you know what I'm saying like when I first started doing this blogging and things I thought Charlie Clips was one of the best potentially ever he had the talent to be one of the best ever, but then what came along with battle rap, and then you know he was gambling, and then he was just bullshitting, freestyling in battles, and Charlie Clips, he freestyles to a fault. When I say that, he's so good at freestyling that he would show up to certain battles without, you could tell he didn't write anything. Like he would literally just show up freestyle, just a bunch of hoopla, psych I lied, psych I lied again, oh psych I lied, no, you're not psych I, psych I lied, this, it, it wasn't working. He said, Charlie Clips has a remarkable resume. He's battled a lot of people. He even battled me. I got him, but that's another story. Um, but what I will say is this. He uh, seems ready for chess. Like, he seems like he's going to be ready. And I'll say this. Another thing I'll say. I did respect a lot of what Chess was saying. Like, Chess was saying that the way the battle rap algorithm moves nowadays, like, it's not catered. The, the success of what's going on right now is not catered to a lot of the older MCs. It's catered to the guys like the Hymns, the Geechee Gotties, the Rum Nitties, the Easy to Block Captain Now, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I do agree with him that a lot of what's going on right now is built off of what they're doing because they're having the best battles. You know what I'm saying? I do like a Chess versus Calico. If we can get a Calico, he, he's the one thing about Calico that I will say is he wins a lot of his battles. He has a high winning percentage that doesn't often get celebrated, I don't think, because Calico's not as braggadocious as maybe some other MCs are, you know what I'm saying, like that that really flaunt what they do, you know, pack in the back and back of the act, I'm from the D, we don't ride with the back in the back of the act, we ride with it on our lap, nigga, Calico, salute to Calico, man, I, I, I see what you're doing out here, he's, he's making noise, his battle with Geechee was highly debatable, a lot of people had Calico winning, but the thing about Calico is he don't really clearly lose battles, like if you go down his resume, in and out, like he, he he's always going to show up and he's always going to bring some fire, but back to Chess, um, Chess is one of the ones this year. Like he's had one of the better years in battle rap, and if he continues on this run right here, it's going to take somebody. People are going to have to come outside and see him. They're going to have to have that conversation with him. I said it a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? Um, I've been very observant of Chess's career through the positive, through the negative, and things like that. And I feel like, and I feel like I've kept it fair across the board when he did good. I gave him props when he did good. When he didn't do good, I said when he didn't do good. But I'm a fan of Chess. I'm from the Bronx. I like to see when Chess does good, battle rap does good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I see there are always going to be people in the comments. Oh, what are you going to say when he chokes again? What are you going to say? He hasn't choked in over a year. Can we at least give him the credit? And, and it's all about the focus. When he's focused and in his bag and really, really bringing you material, he's very, very tough to beat. And I've said this before, and this is not even a question. And mind you, he's only 22 years old. What? Chess ain't even 25. Imagine five years from now, if he's still doing this. He could potentially, he's a very, 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 very solidified, solid threat. I will say this about Chess. Um, he, think about it, think about it. He has a very, very, very solid way of coming up with fire material. He's able to use punches. He has energy. Then he did the little hat trick the other day. The bow, you know what I'm saying? The easy come, the easy go. In front of a crowd, uh, he, he does his thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and I will say this, when he was on his downslide, a lot of people, myself included, were critical of him. When I first saw him first get the Gichi Gotti battle that was put together by Norbs, uh, I was like, nah, this ain't it. He but. He came, showed, and proved in that. So you got to give him credit where credit is due. The, the kid, he's, he, the sky is the limit for this guy. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and he's going to have a lot more battles, and he's going to be very, very tough to beat. It's a 
pretty, you got a couple weeks. I think he can do it. Uh, he, he showed up for gun titles, guns and cake in 14 days. That's when I knew Chess was serious again because I got word. Who did I speak to? I don't know who I spoke to, but they told me he had like went down to Maryland and he was staying in a hotel and he was like really focusing on practicing with Rock and they were practicing every single day. And you know, I questioned it when I first heard that he was replacing. I was like, what? Versus Loaded Lux and Hollow? Man, what? But he came, showed, and proved that the, the shell casings. The, the, the shell casings. Come on, man. You got to get his name credit, man. Um, he's going to bring some fire versus Charlie Clips. But it's not about what Chess brings. I was more so concerned with what Charlie Clips was going to bring. Was he going to bring the, the Chess old schemes, the bit of the boom ba bing? Or are we going to get another, uh, what the, because December 14th, are we going to get that Charlie Clips? Uh, I will reach out to Clips and see what, what mind state he's in. But uh, in this video, he definitely seemed mad, and I'm happy. I'm, I'm, I'm with violence. I'm not above violence. I definitely want to see these two go to war. Um, Chess was very vocal, and at this point, I think he should get what he wants. Right now, get what he wants. Until proven otherwise, he should be able to battle whom he wants because he is showing his worth where it matters. He had the biggest battle on Summer Madness. That will not be replaced. That battle, that we can't go back and do Summer Madness again. He had the best performance, him and Easy. They, they keep going one and two. They had the best performance on the biggest stage. Okay? Before you play the man, pay the man. But Charlie Clips, I'm very excited. I, I like what you're saying. It sounds good. It does sound good. But when the rubber meets the road, I need you to hold your end of the bargain and do what it do. Other than that, you guys already know what it is. Salute to every single one of y'all. Gang, gang. Chess, why? Why would you go on live talking crazy like that, little bro? You just said in your blog, I'm the one person you don't want to piss off. So why would you go ahead and do it? Just cause Smack wanna see me and you go at it, you listen to him? Do you not know Smack set people up to die every event? And he just did it again, man. Come on, Chess. When you was on your 18 game losing streak, throwing up shrimp flavored ramen noodles all over the fucking stage, I still thought you was good, little homie. But this is, this, October 29th, bro. Yo, I don't ever make promises cause I feel like promises is meant to be broken. And so is your fucking jaw when these schemes hit you, nigga. October 29th, man, I promise you, Chess, you shouldn't have did that, little bro. You shouldn't have did that. October 29th, man. I see.